what you're seeing here is me anesthetizing the knees. Uh, right here, we're actually taking out some blood. So we're going to combine the blood with bone marrow concentrate and then that bone marrow and, and uh, whole, blood whole blood is going to be concentrated by uh, the Magellan centrifuge, which you'll see. Here you see me with the EZO drill, and this is how we pierce the periosteum to get to the bone marrow. And you'll see that it just takes a moment. See how right there, it's just literally a moment. And the person didn't feel any of this because the tibias there were anesthetized with procaine. Um, so there's several ways to concentrate uh, bone marrow. You can concentrate it just by using bone marrow. So we surely could just take out bone marrow and then concentrate it by itself. Um, there are growth factors uh, in the blood, as there are growth factors in the bone marrow, uh, including fibroblastic bone marrow, uh, vascular growth factor, uh, lots of different kinds of growth factors that speed up healing for the various tissue injuries that we use bone marrow prolotherapy for. So here I'm going to take out uh, the drill bit here. Uh, it just takes a moment and then we obviously apply pressure but afterwards the person shouldn't have any symptoms except maybe a little dull pain for a couple days in that area. I was able to run after five days after my bone marrow prolotherapy procedures. Um, here is now going to show the whole uh, procedure to concentrate the bone marrow. So we're combining the bone marrow with the whole blood. And then uh, it'll go into the Magellan centrifuge. And the whole process from start to finish takes under an hour. So there's many reasons why we use bone marrow uh, to get stem cells. Stem cells can differentiate into other cells. We typically use uh, bone marrow cells because those are, the bone marrow is actually the factory for producing the stem cells in the body. And the stem cells are used by all the tissues of the body to regenerate cells such as cartilage cells, fibrocartilage cells, which make up the meniscus, and even the synovial cells. This particular patient has severe degenerative arthritis, uh, though he's back to weightlifting. He's back to walking and doing all of his daily activities without pain. Uh, he can squat hundreds of pounds, you know, where he couldn't squat, you know, squat at all prior to starting prolotherapy. So clearly prolotherapy, including bone marrow prolotherapy, at least symptom-wise, appears to reverse the degenerative process. Caring Medical and other centers are involved with research that hopefully will finally prove that you can regenerate articular cartilage, meniscus tissue, synovial tissue, and other tissues with prolotherapy, including bone marrow prolotherapy. Here you can see the concentrated uh, bone marrow here in the nurse's hands. And then what I'll do then is inject it into both of his knees. And, and basically that's the whole bone marrow prolotherapy procedure. So someone who has articular cartilage degeneration, articular cartilage tears, meniscal tears, and other tissues that would respond to prolotherapy, one way that we can sort of increase the efficacy that we believe with prolotherapy is by using bone marrow, which has stem cells, to in increase the effect, the prolotherapy effect, or regenerative effect for conditions like this particular patient with knee arthritis. So as you can see, the, just injecting the bone marrow into the knee. And uh, the client did obviously extremely well. They're not, it, it's not extre extre excessively painful.